In this video, I've got five tips to help all MMA athletes to avoid this. On your side. Come on, like, do something, for f sake. Ah, f And get a little bit more of this. And it is deep. That is tight, that is tight. Tapping in, we have a new champion! Patrick Lahane is the new Extreme Combat Light Welterweight Champion! Hey guys, this is Liam O'Griffin here, head coach in SBG Cork. And the tips in this video today are things that I've learned over the last 10 years by making a ton of mistakes in my own fight career and then making an admission that the guys I coach don't go ahead and repeat them. They're to do with career choices, with your process and your overall attitude towards competing. I'm glad to say that the guys that I coach are doing quite well from this and I'd like to share them with you. So let's get stuck in. Compete regularly at an appropriate level. This is a big one for amateur athletes. A lot of amateurs try and mimic the routine of a professional fighter who maybe fights two or three times a year. It's not enough. You need multiple exposures throughout the year. You need dozens of fights in an amateur career to get good at it. That means that you need to forget about your eight week training camps. Just be ready all year round. Take fights at short notice. Put yourself out there. Learn your lessons. Fix them. Move on. Can you imagine a jiu-jitsu athlete, a judo player, a boxer, a GAA footballer hurler having two matches a year? Doesn't happen in any other sport. Get out there and compete often, but make sure that the level is appropriate to you. A good coach will put you at the right level and stop you from fighting at the wrong level. The performance is more important than the result. There's far too many fighters that are obsessed about winning fights and having a perfect record. Of course, everyone wants to win their fight, naturally, but there's so many variables that dictate the result of a fight. Lots of things that you can't control. You can't control the judge's decision. You can't control whether your opponent is better than you or not, whether they've trained harder. You can't control whether you have an injury in the week of the fight. Perhaps you get sick on fight day. There's so many things that are outside of your control. And if you obsess over the result, well then you're putting undue stress on yourself that you cannot control. The most important thing is to focus on the performance. Do yourself proud. Do the things that you've practiced in training that your coaches have told you to do. If you do that over time and you fix any mistakes that you've made along the way, the results will look after themselves. Of course, sometimes you get a winning result with a poor performance. And that's not, that's not great either. I know, I, again, you won the fight. Brilliant. Fantastic. But now you have positive reinforcement over mistakes. And if you only focus on the result, well, then you don't feel like you need to fix anything. If you focus on the performance, whether you won or lost, then you will always learn something and you will always improve. Analysis, feedback, and complete correction. Once you've finished your fight or competition or spar or whatever it is, hopefully you've got some video footage. Well then it's time to sit down and analyze, make notes in a journal, keep a, a really strict diary of things that you figure out about your style. Get feedback from your coaches and your teammates and then completely fix whatever it is you, you've got. That means you drill whatever mistake you, you found and you drill it till it's fixed. Not till you're bored of it, until it's completely fixed. Then move on. Always recognize who's in your corner. Now I'm not just talking about fight time and who stands behind you when you're in a competition, but in general, who are the ones that put in the time with you when you're training? Who are the ones that are your sparring partners? Who are the ones that are honest with you when you need feedback? And who are the ones that support you even when the chips are down? That's who's in your corner. And you need to recognize them and you need to pay attention to them when the roles are reversed. And those are the ones that deserve recognition and gratitude. Work hard at enjoying the grind. Everybody's familiar with the phrase, endure the grind or embrace the grind. But truth be told, it's going to take 10 years for 
an amateur athlete or a, a novice athlete to reach any level of mastery of any discipline. And in MMA, that's no exception. So you've got to be around long enough to get good at something. You're not going to endure 10 years. You might stick around if you enjoy 10 years. That enjoyment factor is as much your responsibility as the coach's responsibility. Lots of different things can help you to enjoy your training. Having goals in place, competing regularly, the environment that you train in, being surrounded by good training partners who challenge you and who have fun with you while you're training. So it's not just your responsibility to fix your mistakes, attend regularly, and train hard. It's also your responsibility to figure out whatever ways you can to make your training fun. You click here, you get a behind the scenes look at one of my guys in action in Australia not so long ago. And down here, if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing.